I get asked uh, about coaching decisions every day, and especially with what's been going on for the past few weeks, multiple times per day. So I understand this is a difficult one to answer, but um, how serious do you think Lincoln Riley is considering LSU? And do you think that the conclusion to this season has anything to do with his decision? Good question. Um, I, I know that Lincoln Riley has come out and you know publicly said that he, he hasn't really denied anything. What he has said is basically he said, you know, guy, you guys know how I feel about Oklahoma. Um, I'm not interested in any other jobs. Just very status quo. What you would what you would hear from a coach at this point. Here's the thing that I've I've continued to say, um, and and I don't I, ha- I haven't seen this seen this corroborated by by anyone, but um, other than one um, media member that had said that there was an offer um, on the table um, for ninety six million eight years for uh, for Riley to go to LSU. So, if it's in that neighborhood, if he's been offered, if it's in that neighborhood, you have to listen. I mean, the, the amount of money and what LSU brings to the table, you you, you have to listen. Um, th- not saying that he won't do it, not saying that he'll make that decision and that's where he, what he's going to do, but I think he would be just kind of idiotic to listen because right now, <clears throat> I think, you know, whether or not that, that offer is on the table, Mark, I, I think LSU will probably pay in the neighborhood of 9 to $10 million a year, and they'll probably make whoever it is, unless it's unless it's someone that's a little bit below the radar. If it was a if it's Riley or if it's a Jimbo Fisher or whoever it would be, I think they would they would they would pay that amount of money to make him make whoever it is the highest paid coach in the country. So I think he would he would be foolish to listen because Oklahoma's in this I think he's right now at around seven point three, seven point four um million with Oklahoma, which makes him a top ten in terms of highest paid coaches in the country. But you're telling me that you're going to give me a pay raise that's going to go from seven to 10 and I'm not even going to think about it. So I think we, we got to make sure that we understand. Yes. He, he, I think he absolutely would think about it and entertain it. And I think that the thought that you said is, is spot on Mark. This is something that we talked about early on in the year before the season even started on Oklahoma's expectations. If they, if they don't make a play, make the playoffs, if they don't, um, win a national championship. Does does Riley in the back of his head think, "Gee, I, I don't know if it's possible for us to win a, a championship at Oklahoma." Having said that, it's you know, given the fact that it's getting ready to be even more tough to win a championship with you know moving to the SEC, whether that's next year, whether that's three years down the line, whatever it is. So I, I, I at the end of the day, I, I don't necessarily think he'll do it, but I do think. Um, I do think it's a higher percentage than most people want want to believe right now. Yeah, the dynamics for participating in the playoffs and advancing to have a shot at a championship could change pretty dramatically, especially uh, for a team like Oklahoma that's going to be competing in the SEC where with a 12-team playoff, let's say, a conference championship is not going to be required. It's it's going to be based on the first version that was released to the public that we saw that they were considering. Um, the the conference championship would be the the path, the easiest path, and the least resistance because of the buy to get to um, the championship game and win it all. But if you play in the SEC, third or fourth place is going to be good enough to at least advance at the playoffs going forward. Um, so, so it's kind of, kind of interesting because on one hand, it seems easier to make and win a college football national championship or will be in the future with a 12 team playoff, but obviously only one team wins the thing regardless of who, uh, but in terms of the opportunities going to be opened uh, to, to more teams. Yeah, no, and, and there's some comments on here. I mean, and I think we talked about this a couple of weeks, Mark, in terms of what's the better job, LSU or Oklahoma, and that and that's and that's very debatable. Um, you know, I think I think there's 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 some aspects of LSU that would 
maybe be a little bit more enticing. And then there's certainly some, some aspects of Oklahoma that would, um, you know, that would be more enticing right now. I think Oklahoma has an easier path to the playoffs being in the big 12 than, than they are in the sec, but, um, in the future, um, certainly that's going to be more of an even playing field. I think LSU would probably do more to win. I'm not saying cheat. I'm just saying they would, they would do everything in their power, to win and, and Oklahoma has had some issues from a compliance perspective. They're, they're a lot stricter than um, more strict than um, maybe some of the other teams um, in the country. So I think um, there's been some thought Oklahoma just from a compliance perspective, they've they'll have compliance officers. I've been told this at practice with a stopwatch, basically making sure that practice doesn't go longer than the NCAA allows. So, so they're um, kind of at that level from a – not that that's a bad thing, but, you know, certainly I, I don't think that's probably happening very many places ac- across the country. But, um, yeah, it's, it's, very, it's such an interesting conversation, you know, in terms of what's – I think it's um, – LSU's no – let's just – I mean, it kind of just suffice it to say, LSU's definitely no worse of a job um, than what Oklahoma is, is right now, I think um, – However, one of the comments that you have on and specifically that you had on the screen a couple of minutes ago, maybe the pressure maybe is a little bit higher at LSU than, than it is at Oklahoma. I mean, that's, again, debatable. Um, I mean, given the fact that we're, you know, we're, what Oklahoma's, you know, really requirements are, what the – what the foundation is for for that program, just a you know kind of a national championship play or playoff exp- um, um, playoff game or bust, you know, type of situation. And so um, I don't know. I think it's going to be very interesting to your exactly to your point. Should Oklahoma finish ten and two, um, miss out on the playoffs, miss out on the Big Twelve championship? What what does that? How does that play into that decision? It's going to be interesting. And it was brought up uh, by several people in the live chat, I believe, last week, just debating who's been the more successful program. And it is debatable, at least in my eyes. You can look at different perspectives. If you're looking at consistent winning, then Oklahoma certainly wins that argument easily. But uh, LSU, of course, has peaked three times to win national championships and get to another national championship game since the last time Oklahoma won a national championship. So yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, that could be the big determining factor right there. Um, Mark, that's a, a, I mean, that's a big one. And I mentioned about the Oklahoma monster, so to speak. And I think, um, you know, it's one of those things where the monster really needs to be, needs to be fed from the perspective of Oklahoma has the longest drought between national champions uh na- national championships that they've ever had in program history with uh the 23 years right now so or 22 years i should say um close close it will be 22 years once the national championship game is played this year so um yeah i mean that's part of it i mean there's there's a there's a lot of pressure at both schools and and you know the fact that lsu has won um multiple national championships since Oklahoma has is, is a big, um, it's a big factor, I think. 